To log in, go to NebraskaLeague.org, find the proper season that you are playing in, and the proper league. Find the team login link. Click on there. And now log in using your username and password. From the new My Account landing page, for 95% of the things you'll need to do, you simply go down to the Teams tab. You may need to scroll down to find this. Click on the Teams. Find your team under the proper season. And you can go to the View Tournament app. You now have a player roster tab at the top of the page. Click on the roster. From here, you can add players, make them active, make them inactive, or delete the players. To add a player, click on the Add Player button. Enter only the information that is required by a red asterisk. First name, last name, player status will always be registered to the team. The birth year. And the jersey numbers are all that is required. Enter that, hit add player. It will go on to the next player that you want to add. And again, hit add player. Once you have added the players, you simply go back to the player roster tab. And you will see where you have entered multiple players. At this time, you can make the players active by clicking the box and set players active. Now note here that it, we were successful on three of 18 players. I do want to show you though, at this point, you cannot edit a player's information. That player is blocked from being ed edited. The only thing um, you can do at this point is to go back. If you need to edit player information, Uncheck them as being active and then set active player. This will make the players inactive. You can still not edit it. All you can do at this point if you need to edit information from the player is remove the player by clicking the remove button. 
prompt you if you want to remove them, and you can remove them. Then you can simply re add, excuse me, re enter the player information. Once you set the player to active, you can return to your My Account landing page. Remember that schedules. Remember that rosters will not be available to print off until four days before your game. But go to Schedules, Game Scoring, and if you're within the four-day range, a Print Roster button will appear by the game. Simply print the roster off, take it with the passes to your next game. Good luck this season.